This lesson is hopefully a review of how to format headings, margins, and to set tabs. A heading, the great thing about a heading is that once you set a heading, it goes on every page of your document. So let's say you're doing a research paper and you have to have a page number on every page. A heading will change, um, the page number will change in each heading. So how do you set a heading? You just go to the top of your document and you double click and you'll notice the gray line and then you just type. And once you click out, you'll notice that it's in gray because it's outside of your margin area. So you still have your one inch margins. So in your heading is where you're going to create your resume heading that will also go on your cover letter and your references. How do you set margins? Margins, you're going to go to page layout. You're going to click on margins. And then you can choose what margins you want. You can even go to custom margins. And you can change your top, left, bottom, and right. So this will be key for you to know. First off, you want to start with one inch margins. But let's say you only have one line to fit on the bottom of your resume. Let's change the bottom margin to a half an inch and then your line should fit on there. So sometimes you have to play with the margins in order for your resume to fit on one page. But for your letter and your references, please make sure that your top, left, bottom, and right margins are all one inch. Setting tabs. This is always something that um, people need review. If you go over to the left, you'll notice this little button. When it has the L shape, that's a left tab. This means center tab, right tab, decimal tab. So those are the only ones I really wanna go over with you. The big one you're probably gonna use is your left tab. So if you need to indent not as much as in half an inch, which is the default, you could make it go 2.5 and make sure that you're on the line that you want. I didn't do that, sorry about that. So there's your first left and then maybe then you want it there and then you want it um, a quarter of an inch there. The big one I want you guys to set right at the beginning is the right tab. So this is going to be important for dates. So I always like us to go all the way over as far as we can and just set a right tab. Therefore, if I'm all of a sudden typing, hello, um, good day. And then I tab all the way over and I start typing set September 2016 through present. You'll notice that now if I hit enter and I tab all the way over again and I do another, so maybe it's October 2015 to July 2016, everything now is lined up on the right. If you try to space, your dates will not be lined up. You can try it, but I guarantee that we will need to highlight everything and you will need to reformat your entire resume. The other major thing I wanna go over is if you go back to home, spacing is always on normal. Normal means that there's a little space between each line and we don't want that. So before you start forming, formatting anything, you wanna make sure you go no spacing and then you can change your font size and your font type. So before you start any of these documents, make sure you go to no spacing and then you can change your font size and font type and anything else. Start that first. I cannot stress that enough. I hope this lesson was helpful and that you continue to go back to this as you're formatting your resume, your cover letter, your references, and any other formatted document that you do in any of your other classes.